Hello Libra, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing a general reading between January 1 to 7. Let's see the messages for you. Note that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate, so take what resonates and you what does not. For accurate personal readings, white spells and premium crystals, feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. Check out my Instagram at iEnigma.in. Follow me there. And all the details are given down below in the description box. Sun Moon Rising or Venus sign in Libra plus Rose Watchers. Let's see what is there for you. End star, January 1 to 7. There you go. Four of Swords, 501. Someone is planning against you, Libra. Or someone has hate feelings towards you. And I'm sensing that you're really worried um, about who talks what or whether they like you or not. It is not your problem. Like if someone is a gossiper, they will gossip about almost everybody they meet. So you don't have to think of fixing anyone because it has to happen anyway. I feel like you're in this limelight right now. Everybody wants your attention. Everybody wants to give you love, respect, honor. And you will stand out in the ground. It's like you're special. You're one of a kind. Because you're special, you will have some people that are hating on you. But at the same time, you have someone that really, really likes you. There's this person, they could be a very successful person. Someone is in public eye or very popular that is interested in you deeply. They could be divorced. They could be someone that is already going through something, coming out of the bad situation, really want to settle down. And you're that person they want to be with. This person sees you as one of the best um, options around. And you're like a star for this person. You're like one of a uh, very special, one of a kind, different. But then at the same time, you have someone else also longing for you. I feel like there are two options coming in for you. One of them is someone that is extremely protective, caring, father figure or mother figure and is more older than you. Authoritative, uh, strong personality. Another person is very, very rich and successful. So you have to make out who you want to be with. Maybe that is why there is a 501 energy because you are not able to choose and they are fighting for you. You are the center of attention right now. Two people are fighting for you and you are getting this feeling like you want to be left alone so that you can stay calmer and relaxed. Be, be more patient. This is what I'm seeing. Seven of Pentacles. Slowly, I'm seeing you're getting recognition from everybody. Whoever has been talking negative about you is going to feel more positive about you. So have some patience. It takes time to build uh, the kind of a, you know, a bond or a reputation that you seek. So I'm definitely seeing at your workplace there's a lot of respect and success coming towards you. And when it comes to this, these options, they're trying to win you over. They're not in this thing that they're trying to rush you in for something or they're trying to push you. They're, they're going to give you that space where you are having the power to decide. All right. Um, seeing that there is someone that is definitely not very happy with your, you know, with you getting more uh, importance. There is someone maybe they are not these options someone else that's gossiping about you and they're hurting it could be your ex that is hurting because you moved on and you're very patient you're happy wherever you are someone is stuck on you this could be a pisces person someone definitely is stuck on you guys the reason is because you have two new options coming in and they want to date you they want to get closer to you they want to get to know you more deeply you feel like you have the attention. So why do you want to go back in the past? You're in this energy. That is why the past person is extremely jealous that you're not paying attention to them. And everybody is surrounding you with love. The one thing that you will get caught up with is the confusion between the two of them. You really want to settle down, but who is the right person for you? That is something that's going to give you a hard time because you don't want to let go of a good option in your life. So you're like completely stuck don't know which way to go who is the right person for you and someone might be gaslighting you against these options so the universe is asking you to listen to your own intuition and not listen to what other people say about this or that person it is time for you to believe in what you can see because actions speak louder than words so i feel like right now you're focusing on giving someone what they deserve and if someone deserves your love and respect you're giving that so you're being fair, like how a Libra is generally. Era sword energy. I feel like you're feeling blocked here. Yeah, 
The thing is, Libra, someone that you recently blocked, someone from the past that you stopped listening to, you recently blocked, is not feeling good because they feel blocked and you did your um, work. That means you came out of this pit and you started living your life on, on your own terms. You started loving yourself, living your life. All your wishes are coming true. So this past person that feels blocked is very, very jealous over here. You're getting a lot of attention from these options. They literally, you know, are, um, they want you. Like, I, I feel like these options are literally, you know, um, dotting on you, hitting on you, want to impress you. One of these options that I feel is more closer to you is the one that is more richer one and that is more younger one. Okay, this person is more closer than you. You're able, you're not able to make a decision. So I feel like in this period, you might feel confused. You're not able to make a decision and you're also not ready to listen to anybody. But very soon, the decision will be made. You'll end up with someone. Very soon, you're getting married. You're getting married with the right person. I feel like you're getting married to the uh, younger one, wealthier one, and the other person may create problems between you guys because the other person is extremely manipulative. So one of these is good, one of these is okay, and you have to figure out, and you're going to choose the right person, okay? So I'm seeing the six of wands energy is that the proposal is going to be wild. It's like everybody's looking up to you guys and everybody's like getting so uh, happy for you guys coming together, for you guys uniting. Yes, it's not these two options. It, it is your ex that is not happy. The ex is creating a lot of problems between you and the new options coming in. It is your ex that is extremely manipulative. You have to be really careful and not listen to this person because they will create the sense of confusion. They will create the uh, tough atmosphere for you. And they won't like that you're enjoying your life and you're getting the attention from these options. So they are not happy that you left them because they were wrong and they're regretting losing you but they're not re regretting the mistakes that they've made yeah this person is trying to catch back and is trying to harm you so i feel like you have to be really careful and tough in front of your ex because this person is trying their best to harm you and then i'm seeing the new options that are coming in with a lot of passion and excitement and you're very happy that they are showing you great interest even when you're not doing good mentally you may feel stressed, you may feel anxious, depressed and low. But these new options that are coming into your life and making your life extremely exciting. You have a lot more love, opportunities, happiness, experiences, positive experiences will be coming in. That will make you feel happier and jolly. You'll feel good. The three of cups. You're going to enjoy a lot and you will make new friends. I feel like you're going to date these two options. You're going to have a lot of fun. Literally, this is a period where you will have a lot of fun. And you're not going to be bothered about what does the past say. Some of you, you're going to celebrate your announcement regarding your wedding happening real soon. You guys are going to get engaged. Very strongly, there's a possibility of you finally getting engaged. Your families are involved. Wow. There are four people coming in, guys. There's one more person. You might join an event. I feel like you're joining an event. You're going to an event or a party or a celebration. And over there, there's one more person that's going to come into your life and is going to show you major interest in love. This person will try to build family with you. Maybe this is an Aries Sagittarius Leo. Someone that is coming. Maybe this is a Taurus. But I'm feeling like there are three new options and one from the past. All of them are crazy about you. Now... <laughs> Libra, it's just getting tougher and tougher for you. So all these three options are literally dotting on you and you have to decide. You're more interested in the last person coming in. And I feel like even when you get engaged, you'll still have options coming after you, you know, for marriage. So pay attention. You have a lot of respect, love, and you're very attractive. You have a lot of people coming after you guys. And you're feeling much more relaxed, happier, and balanced. Your life has changed. You're not in this messed up energy anymore. You're very happy. Your money is doing good. Rather, very, very good. And very soon, you're going to announce your wedding. And you're going to build a happy family with the right person coming in. It's time for you to date all three. And I feel it, it might take three months for you to finally make a decision. All of them are trying their best to impress you. Because all of them have crush on you. And here, you're going to be very smart in choosing. 
okay you're not in this rush you're not in a rush you're like you're going to take time and you're someone that is showing them that you can't be messed up you're intimidating as any as anything but you're definitely interested in giving a chance to one of these options you're the kindest person but at the same time you're highly intimidating the lovers you will have to make a decision between the options some of you this is a gemini but i'm definitely seeing this one person that you're going to accept a proposal and you you will get engaged real soon you want some time for yourself you will be asking for space a lot you don't want to really open up right now you're in this peaceful energy where you want more rest where you want to do some self-analysis where you want to work on yourself where you want to grow become more successful so right now your major focus is on spending time with yourself and coming out of the past maybe you were dealt you you've dealt, dealt with a scorpio that you come out of and now you just want to renew your energy you're working on that so the transformation is taking place the world there's a whole new chapter coming into your life okay and intuitively you're going into the right path my gosh could you believe this i can't believe this there are literally five people interested, including your ex. So there are five people interested. You might meet someone overseas or someone from a very different culture and countries uh, taking interest in you. All of them are very interested in you. And it may come off as you being a manipulator or you being a cheater, you being a player, which is not true. You're actually trying to know who is the one for you. But all of them will later find out that all these five options are crazy about you and you're still not doing anything about it. Okay, so you might feel challenging at one point of time. All of them are closely observing you, pay attention. And yes, you might find it really difficult to make these people understand why you're talking to all these options or what is your major agenda. Okay. The high priestess, personal readings, tarot readings, or the readers, or through general readings, you will get a lot of help. You will get the right kind of guidance. I'm also seeing there is, if you are excessively spending your money, going to more than one, two, three, four, five, six tarot readers, you're doing it wrong. I'm definitely seeing whoever is right for you is going to stick around, whoever is not is going to leave you. So just leave it on universe and you will see everything is going to fall in place. You are in mind of all these options. All five people are thinking and watching you. I was wondering like what is going on with them. You're in a limelight right now actually. All of these options are literally crying for you. Oh my gosh, what are you doing, Libra? It's like it's happening naturally. I'm not even trying it. It's just that they're just putting themselves forcefully in your life. Passion. So all of these options are very, very attractive. There's a lot of passion that they feel towards you. And you're very optimistic. Keep an open mind. You're not in a rush right now. You're not passionate or in, in anything or you're not having anything in particular for anyone, but you're open to receive. That is why you're in highly feminine energy, and that is why you're very attractive these days. Yeah, seventh chakra. I'm seeing your brain works really fast. You're very intelligent, and this is why people rely on you and respect you. So you're not a person that goes through your heart. You listen to your mind, and you're not emotionally or drained or weak. That is why it is not easy to crack what is going on in your head. That is why you're a treasure. You're a treasure for these options. They're like trying to win you like as if you're a trophy. Which is true. Alright. Anything else my Libra please? Yeah. Finally you found peace. And the person that's meant for you is coming towards you. You should have a lot of masculines coming after you. Male or female. And I'm seeing you're much more at peace these days. And you're looking for someone that brings more peace and harmony in your life anything uh, than anything else. Strength. I feel like this person is really... Um, they no, you're very strong and that's how you're seen by these options. They see you as someone that is very strong, powerful, confident and you're capable of everything in your life. So this is how you're being seen. 
Let's see the um signs coming through. Libra. Capricorn. Scorpio. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are five signs that came in Aries. Pisces and Aries. Five people. Wow. All right, so let's see from Aries to Pisces. What does your person think and feel for you? Libra. Aries. Aries is trying to win you. Your spotlight is on you. You're the center of attention. This person is smitten by you. Taurus wants to get to know you. Introduce you to their family and friends. The Gemini is already dreaming about family with you. Friendships, relationships. Oh my gosh, Cancer is already ready to marry you. Leo, want some time and space because they've been hurt before. They think about you a lot. Virgos, wants to settle down with you for a stable relationship. Libra, they are wanting a lifelong commitment longevity here. Scorpio, they see as a marriage material, want to settle down with you. Sagittarius, so stuck on you that they cannot think of anybody else. Capricorn is too stressed out. They don't know how to impress. Aquarius is definitely wanting to have a deep friendship turning into something serious. And Pisces. Did I do Aquarius? Oh, I think I did some sign twice. So the Pisces is very much hurt. Maybe you said something to this person or they're still... Uh, coming out of the past uh, hurt. Something has happened. Let's see one advice for you, Libra. Give it to God. Everything is going to fall in place. Yes, you might get very, very confused and stuck, but then you don't have to decide. God will make it clear in front of you. Yes. Okay. Everything is just coming out one after the other. You will have more options coming. When you think that it's done, like you won't have many more options coming in, you will have more and more options coming in. So you will be like surrounded with your options. See the charm. Yeah. Someone is in public eye. Are you too obsessed with videos and watching too much of... TV, tarot, all those things. Cut down on it. Someone's from Fiji, Yugoslavia, Ukraine, Uganda, France, Iran, Italy, Indiana, Polis, India, UK. I'm definitely seeing someone from the past is creating a lot of nonsense in your life. Like your ex. Yeah, you have a lot of proposals because you understand people from depth and you're an old soul. And you're going to wait for the right time to decide who is the one for you. But yes, you have the key and you decide because you're going to receive a lot of proposals, like never ending. You might be in public eye, you could be on TV or social media somehow. Oyster, something to do with oyster. Some of you are fond of pearls. Um, so you could have F-O-I-U-Y in your name or your person's name. Someone from Finland. Someone's on YouTube. Onida, Onida could be the name. Fiona. Fuchsia. Fuchsia. So these are certain names that I'm getting. Faye. Farida. Something like that. Okay. So that's your reading, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful read, Libra. And do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment to I Enigma. And yes, don't forget to check out my Instagram for Crystal Reels, where I have posted... Uh, all the energized crystal pictures, all pure and 100% highest quality grade crystals available. They will be supercharged. And check out free horoscopes every month 
that will help you clear your doubts and a shot and you can save those pictures rest i'll see you back again with more stuff bye